Do you ever feel like doubting yourself? Like there's an inner voice inside your head that says, you can't do it. It's hard. You're not going to make it because you're not this or that. And this inner voice keeps you from achieving what you want in life, whether it be getting the job you want or leaving your home and moving to a different country to achieve your dreams. I was in the same vicious cycle. Every time I want to achieve something, there is this negative self-talk that tells me I'm not good enough. And it's so crippling because it affects how I interact with the world. It limits me from the opportunities and the connections I could make. Until I realized that this negative self-talk is just a story created by my own mind, my very own mind, telling me that I'm not good enough. It could be from different reasons, but it's usually because of our environment, the people surrounding us as we grow up. It could be your friends, your co-workers, your classmates, or even our own family or the community where we live in. If you grew up with people whose thinking is always about how they can do this or that because of their circumstances, chances are you will pick up their thinking patterns and it could affect how you live your life, unconsciously. I didn't realize this until I stumbled upon Jim Rohn's speech about the power of influence. I learned that the influence of the people around us is so powerful that it can literally change your life. If you hang out with people who likes to party every weekend, chances are you will party every weekend too. If you hang out with people who likes to gossip, chances are you will pick up their habits of gossiping. If you surround yourself with people who always have an excuse as to why they can't achieve something, well guess what? You will probably pick up their mindset and will have the same results. Do you get the pattern here? Our environment, what we see or hear as we grow up, affects our mindset. And the scary part is, it is very subtle that you won't notice it's already affecting your life. And if we are not cognizant on how it affects our thinking, it can sway us to the wrong path, a path that we don't want. And because we got stuck on these negative thinking patterns, that will result us not reaching our dreams and goals, our true potential. Now, I'm not here to tell you to cut ties with people who think like this. I think that you can still associate with them, but be mindful of how they affect your psyche. If you do this, you can then decide what to throw away and what to keep to improve your life. Realizing that these things can affect how we think is so liberating for me. I realize that I'm in control of my own life, not my circumstances, not the situation that I'm in, not even my parents, though I love them from the bottom of my heart. I can achieve anything that I set my mind to. I grew up from an economically deprived country, where poverty can be seen anywhere. It was all around me. But this did not stop me from getting what I want in life. Yes, for a good chunk of my teenage years, I was in that state that my limiting beliefs are keeping me from reaching my dreams. I don't even try at all because I used to think that the situation I was in won't change anymore. I remember people telling me not to be too ambitious, that I have to wake up and remember the reality and the situation that I am in that what I was dreaming for is not possible for me. I listened to this for years, and I allowed it to affect my life. It lowered my self-esteem. It affected my interactions with other people. But when I realized that I am in control of my life, and that I can change my circumstances, that's when things started to change. That was my wake-up call. 
That was my aha moment. I realized that I can be whatever I want me to be. I realized that I can go to places and not get stuck where I was. Besides, I'm not a tree. If you're doubting yourself, don't think that you are different from others. Don't think that you are not normal. This is not true. I think that self-doubt is a natural thing that human beings feel. We sometimes feel inadequate or not good enough when we want something in life that is out of our comfort zone. And we start to believe that this thing is beyond our reach, like an insurmountable mountain. I think that we have to realize is that we can reshape our reality, regardless of where we came from or the situation we're in. We just have to believe in ourselves. I know it sounds cliche, but it's true. It starts in here, in your own mind. I think the first thing we have to realize is we do have these limiting beliefs and this thing prevents us from taking action because you already convinced yourself that you can't achieve your goals in the first place. So this paralyzes you from trying. Once you become aware of this, you'll realize that you can change that by shifting your mindset. Reading biographies of successful people, personal development books is a great way to start if you want to change your mindset. There are tons of information that you can learn from a single book and can literally change your life. These books are condensed information about the experiences of successful people who wrote their mistakes, the kind of person they had to become to get where they wanted to be. Now I understand that books are not for everyone, but nowadays, thanks to technology, we have audiobooks, so we don't have any excuse not to feed our minds with invaluable wisdom. Another thing that we can do is to limit our associations with negative people. I understand that we do have friends or relatives who has this kind of thinking. What we can do is to filter the things that they say to you. We take what's positive, things that can make us a better person, and we throw away the negative. Just listen to the negative thing that they say, but don't let it affect your mind. Researchers from neuroscience and psychologists says that the thoughts and languages you often use determines how you perceive and deal with your life. Constant negative thinking can have a significant impact in your life and can stifle you from achieving your goals. And speaking about goals, I can't stress it enough how important it is to write them. Writing down your goals drives you to achieve it, especially the big ones, because when you see them written on a piece of paper, that is the first step of materializing it. Goals are created by our thoughts. If we have so many of them and we don't write them down, some of them just get lost and forgotten which is why it's important to write them down, whether it's big or small. Have a short and long-term goals. Short-term goals can be as simple as your goal for the day or the week. Remember, you don't have to start big, and the great feeling about writing down your goals is when accomplishing them and checking them off. I'm telling you, you'll feel good about yourself. It will give you a sense of accomplishment and you will realize that you can achieve anything that you set your mind to. There are no limits on what you can achieve in life except for the limiting beliefs you accept in your own mind. It's one of my favorite quote by Brian Tracy and it's so empowering to realize this. It blew my mind. Because every accomplishment that we see around us, big or small, it all started here, in our mindset. And I think that it's very important to have a growth mindset if we want to accomplish our life goals. If we let our self-doubt paralyze us, we won't get anywhere in life and we'll just be stuck on the same rut that we're in. So I hope that this video helped you in some way to realize that you have a great potential within you. If you learned something from this video, make sure to hit the like button.
and the algorithm will help this video to be seen by people who can benefit from it. And if you like these type of content, make sure to subscribe to my channel and we'll talk again soon. Thank you for watching. You take care.